What is up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. If not, thank you for being here. Um, I have been gone for a while. Um, I was home for a week for Christmas, and then I got back and I had two days, and then I left again for a whole week um, to go visit a friend over New Year's. So I just got back home a couple of days ago. It's currently January 5th, Sunday, um, and I got back home on Friday. So I've literally been home for like a day. Um, but I thought that I would go ahead and pick up the camera and film because I'm just so happy to be back to like my normal schedule, normal filming, normal just life, workouts, food, all that. So that's what I did today. Um, be sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below if you are not already to support me and my channel. Um, yeah, so today I think I'm just going to be doing, I'll show you guys my meals and we'll see what else we get into. I... I think today is going to just be like a catch up day because I have been gone for so long. I have some client plans to work on. Um, I cleaned everything yesterday and meal prepped yesterday, so that's out of the way. But um, I do think I'm gonna take the day off from the gym, probably just because I would rather kind of like just get after it tomorrow. But I don't know, we'll see though, because I didn't really work out much at all like while I was gone. Um, so we will see where the day takes us. But we're going to start with breakfast. It's actually currently 10.45. I did not just wake up. I've actually been doing work. Um, so we're going to do a little late breakfast. And that's kind of that. I'm so happy to be back to normal and to you guys. I promise this year is going to be more and better videos on here. Um, oh, yeah. Let's get into it. So that is going to be my breakfast. Um, so I'm going to eat that, uh, probably do some emails, and then I will just check in with you guys later because I don't really know exactly how today is going to go, how this vlog is going to go, but that is going to be my breakfast, and I will talk with you guys soon. Also about to make up a little coffee. Um, I'm kind of going to go really basic today. Sometimes I'll do like a a fancier one with like froth on the top, but today we're just gonna go basic. We're gonna do a cinnamon dolce K cup, um, a little bit of sugar free vanilla syrup, and then a little bit of level one cinnamon cookie batter. Um, I don't do this really for the protein, I do it for the flavor, so I like barely put any. Um, you can do it for the protein, I just personally would rather like eat my protein. Um, so yeah, but. I'm going to, or at least for the most part, I guess I drink it like post-workout, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to make up this, and so I just thought I would show you guys that. Um, it's still like right after breakfast. Um, I like to drink my coffee after I eat. I don't know why. I've just always been that way. I don't like to have it with my food because then I feel like it just gets cold while I'm eating. So I just make it after. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make that up and then get to work on some client plans. So it is currently 2.15. I am done with almost all of my plans. I have three more to make, I believe. Um, so we're making progress. I do have a lot of other stuff that I wanna do today too, so I'm gonna try to eat and then knock those out quick um, so that I can actually get some more stuff done as well. But for lunch, I'm going to be doing a little pita with um, some barbecue chicken, some broccoli, and an apple. So I'll show you guys like what all I will be using. Okay, so for the pita, I'm going to be doing one of these Joseph's pita bread. I love these because look at these macros. For one pita, it is 60 calories, 1.5 fat, uh, 9 carb, 6 protein. So great macros. So I'll be doing that with some of my crock pot barbecue chicken that I made yesterday. And then also a little bit of this um, Good Foods Buffalo Dip. These macros are also really good. Highly recommend getting this. I got mine at Walmart. Um, and then I have some roasted broccoli already prepped, so I'm gonna have that on the side. And then I'm gonna cut up this 
honey crisp apple and put some cinnamon on it and also have that. I'm going to make that up and I will show you guys the finished product. All that I do for the pita is I stuff it with the buffalo dip and the chicken and then I will bake it in the oven at 350 for like three minutes per side, kind of depends. You can also put it on broil if you want it done quicker. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so here is the finished product. We have my apples and cinnamon, roasted broccoli, a little bit of the leftover chicken from what was in the wraps. And then we have my pita with the buffalo dip and the chicken. Actually like pretty nice outside. It's like 57 degrees and like really sunny. So I think I'm gonna eat this and go on like literally like quick 15 minute walk. Um, kind of reset, knock out those last few programs I have to make, and then work on the other stuff that I was wanting to get done today. So, I will just catch up with you guys after that. Hey friends, it is now 6.15. Um, I actually just now finished my three client plans that I had to do. So I don't know how much extra work we're gonna get done tonight, but that's fine. Um, obviously clients are my priority. So, for dinner we're using all meal prep, well, Okay, I'll show y'all. So look at all these Tupperwares. Hold up, <laughs> look at this. Oh my goodness. So what we're gonna be having though, I'll show you guys what's prepped and what isn't. So these sweet potatoes already prepped. Um, I just baked them in the oven or roasted them in the oven. Um, ground beef already prepped, cooked that in a pan. Brussels sprouts, oven roasted, already prepped. And then I have zucchini and mushrooms already chopped up, but they aren't cooked yet because I don't like these left over. So I'm gonna cook these up in a pan with a little bit of teriyaki sauce. Um, this is my favorite one, sugar-free teriyaki. And then we're also gonna do some avocado on the side. And that is gonna be my dinner. So I'm gonna make this up. Since it's like basically already ready other than cooking these veggies, I'm probably not gonna film it but that is what I'm going to be making up next. So I'll show you guys the finished product. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I did. So let me flip this around. So for the zucchini and the mushrooms, I just sauteed them in a pan until they were cooked and then I added in the already cooked Brussels sprouts and I'm just gonna let those heat for a second. And then I just added my already cooked ground beef and sweet potatoes to a pan. I'm just gonna reheat those. So that is what I did there. I do prefer to reheat things on the stovetop when, when I can. Um, even though I do meal prep everything, I don't like to microwave it if I have the choice. I just think it tastes better reheated in a pan. Obviously, like sometimes if you're taking it to work or whatever, you would have to microwave it. But when I have the option, that's how I like to do it. So I'm gonna let that finish heating, uh, put some avocado on top, and I'll show you guys the finished product. So I wanted to also sit here and chat about something really quick. So for my email list today, um, which I will put a link below if you do want to sign up for my email list, um, I basically just email out valuable content, announcements, things like that. I never like spam you by any means. Um, most of it is just like education and then occasionally like there will be an announcement like if I launch a product or something. But yeah, if you want to get on that list, go ahead. But anyways, today in the list I was talking about kind of just diets in general, um, New Year's kind of things that come up, detoxes, um, keto things, like eight week quick fat loss things. Um, and basically in the email, I was just kind of talking about how um, the best diet is one that you can stick to. So I kind of just wanted to talk about that on here as well, because I think that um, <clears throat> keto, first of all, gets a lot of hype, then like intermittent fasting gets a lot of hype. Um, clean eating, you guys know like all those buzzwords that you hear that are marketed as like a magic solution for fat loss, um, detox teas, things like that. Um, and so I guess I'll kind of start with, first of all, detox teas. Um, they have no premise to help with fat loss because basically most of them, all that they do is actually kind of dehydrate you and deplete your electrolytes. Um, a lot of them actually have like literal laxatives within their ingredient list, which I don't even see why there isn't like why there doesn't have to be like a warning label of some sort on them. But regardless, just flushing out water and electrolytes is not going to equal fat loss. Um, now the scale may go down because if you obviously 
are losing water and all of your food, um, then the scale is going to drop because you have less in you. And by losing your food, you're probably not even like digesting it and getting anything out of it. So it's actually, in my opinion, can be more harm than good whenever it comes to those things. Um, now, obviously there might be some detox products that actually do genuinely have like good ingredients um, in the sense of detox. But if it's a detox tea that literally just like makes you go to the bathroom and just is like a laxative, then you're doing yourself way more harm than good. So anyways, Let's go ahead and clear that one out of the way. Same thing with like waist trainers, all that stuff is just, it, it doesn't help you lose fat. Um, but getting into more so like the um, different dietary approaches such as like keto, intermittent fasting, um, things like that. The reason that all of those work is on the same premise and that premise is a calorie balance. Um, and specifically being in a caloric deficit. So whether you are doing keto, intermittent fasting, clean eating, tracking macros, I don't know, keep listing all the thousands of diets out there. No matter what, if it produces fat loss, the reason that it produces fat loss is because it creates a caloric deficit, not for any magic reason. Um, so like with keto, the reason that it, it does help people lose fat um, at first is because usually these people, you know, maybe you're following a traditional um, American diet or whatever, you're eating pretty high carb, eating a caloric surplus all the time, and then randomly you're like, okay, I'm gonna do keto slash carbs, and then you put yourself into a caloric deficit because you went from eating a ton of carbs and overeating to you slash carbs, now your calories are in check. Um, so it's not magic, it's not because carbs are bad by any means, it's simply because you've created a caloric deficit. You could have made that caloric deficit from going low fat, higher carb too. Um, the premise there is the caloric deficit. Now I will say, just kind of as a side note with keto, there are situations where keto is helpful um, for certain medical conditions and also for certain people um, may benefit from it for a short time um, for things like insulin sensitivity. But in regards to it being a magic diet for fat loss, it's definitely not. It just does help create some, it helps create a caloric deficit. Um, same thing with intermittent fasting. It's not magic. Um, again, a side preface here, fasting can have some benefits for things like digestion um, in certain scenarios um, and then for also dietary adherence in certain scenarios, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, but the reason why people lose fat on intermittent fasting is simply because they're basically taking out a meal and therefore eating less calories throughout the day. So therefore creating for themselves a calorie, a negative calorie balance, a caloric deficit. Um, so literally I could go on and on and on with the list, but if something is producing fat loss and being praised as some magic diet, it's not magic, it's simply creating a caloric deficit, um, just the same as a balanced approach could. So whenever it does come to these things, what you just have to keep in mind is that nothing is like magic. And even if say <clears throat> keto or intermittent fasting, and I keep using those two because those are the ones that you hear the most, um, even if those two do produce fat loss, say you did decide to do it, it did produce fat loss for you, but then you couldn't stick to it, is that really going to be a viable thing for sustainable fat loss? Because if you think about it, if you <clears throat> go keto, um, you do it for a couple of months because you're telling yourself, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna be done, and then you stop doing it, and then you go eat like normal again, first of all, your body is now fat dependent, um, it's running on fat as fuel, so it's not really going to be able to utilize those carbs as well. Second of all, you're very likely going to be eating back into a surplus, um, therefore putting on that weight that you just lost. So that's why I think that whenever you're going into the new year, whatever, if your goal is fat loss, um, I just want you guys to be smart about it and just take a sustainable, balanced approach and do what you can stick to. Literally, whenever people ask me, like, what's the best diet for fat loss? The best diet is one that you can stick to consistently. So not just stick to Monday through Friday, then go overboard on the weekend, not just stick to for three months, just stick to in general. So that's why for me personally, like a very balanced approach is the best for me because I can stick to it during a dieting phase. And then even after, even though I might not be in a caloric deficit anymore, the same principles are still in line. I'm still eating protein and carbs and fats and fueling for performance. Um, Whereas like say with keto, you go from not eating carbs to totally changing your lifestyle. Um, and it's not just like the caloric, 
balance that's the difference if that makes sense um so yeah that's kind of that and another note kind of on i guess my opinions on things like keto intermittent fasting um with intermittent fasting the advantage that i do see to it if anybody is thinking of trying that um, along with their fat loss goals is that sometimes it can just really help with dietary adherence as I was saying earlier, just simply because you have a less of a time frame to eat so your meals can be a little bit bigger. Um, and like for me, whenever I am in a dieting phase, a lot of times I will push my first meal back quite a bit. So I, I kind of unintentionally fast a little bit just simply because if I start eating say around like 11 or even like 10, instead of like 8 a.m. I have less time in my day, which means I get more food at my meals or just simply I'm eating more often um, throughout that time so I don't feel as hungry, um, even though the calories are gonna be the same. So if you think about spreading out, like say, let's just random number 1500 calories, spreading that out over you know, a long chunk of time or a short chunk of time, in that short time, for me personally, I like to kind of have the bigger meals. So for some people that can help, and the good thing about that is even if you transition out of it after, it's basically like you're going back to normal. Maybe you just shrink your meal sizes a little bit um, and there's not going to be like some crazy rebound after. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's magic by any means. It can just help some people. I would definitely not recommend it in a, any kind of muscle building phase because then you're just going to get really full at meals and not be able to eat all your calories properly. Um, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to chat on that for a second just because... New Year's here, I know that those are buzzwords and I know that a lot of you guys know this, but I just think that sometimes hearing the science behind it is good too, just because you can really see like, oh, none of it's magic. It's really, truly is all about creating that calorie balance um, in whatever direction it needs to be for your goals um, and following something that you enjoy and that you can stick to long-term and consistently. Um, whether, I mean, and for some of you guys, that may be keto, but I just, I really enjoy my carbs, at least occasionally. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be that. I am, what time is it? It's 7.15, so I want to do a little bit more work, but I also, tomorrow's Monday and I don't wanna be like exhausted already starting the week, so we will see. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that little chat and I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Also taking um, some of my daily supplements right now, so I thought I would show you guys. So I'm gonna do two scoops of my Opti Greens. This is a greens powder, also has digestive enzymes and a probiotic in it. Um, seriously, love this stuff so much. Gut health, digestion, all the good things. Um, and then also my Reds powder. So this is just like full of antioxidants. Um, it can help with recovery, inflammation, things like that. So I'm gonna take those two. <clears throat> I just put two scoops of each in water. I'm also gonna be taking my vitamin C. I take this during the winter time just to kind of keep up with not getting sick or trying not to get sick. Um, and then also my vitamin D. This is another wintertime supplement that I take um, just because I'm not getting as much sunlight. So I'm gonna be taking those. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna shower and I will catch up with you guys whenever I make my little dessert. Okay, so I'm all showered and, well, I washed my body, I didn't wash my hair. Um, and now I'm about to make up my little night snack. So it's actually gonna be like a little two-part snack because I'm having a mug cake and a yogurt um and i like to eat my mug cakes like right out of the microwave and i don't like them to get cold at all um so i'm gonna go ahead and eat my siggy's vanilla yogurt i'm gonna top it with some strawberries um so i'm gonna have that and then i'm gonna make a mug cake so i will show you guys i'm gonna eat go ahead and eat this and then i'll show you guys the finished product of my mug cake. I've made it in so many videos so i'm not going to show the process but i will put the recipe below um, and show you guys the finished product. So I'll see you guys then. So it is actually now the next morning. Totally forgot to outro this last night, um, but that is going to be it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe below. Let me know any content ideas that you guys want to see. But again, hope that you enjoyed it and love you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.